Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel, see the soul that truth lies within and today we are going to talk about yesterday's that is 13th day and today is 14th day for quality blessings so there are going to be two recordings where you will be able to listen and see the recording on YouTube and listen it on WhatsApp. So let's understand what does Baba want us to do, how he wants us to use the power of peace to bring about success and remove obstacles in whatsoever we want in our life. So, in the heading, Baba says, May you be constantly free from obstacles and successful in all your activities with the power of silence and of harmonizing sanskars, that means habits. So, the explanation goes like this. Only those who see the Father and follow the Father. See the Supreme Father, follow the Father. Second Father is Father Brahma or Adam. So Supreme Godfather is repurifying. Supreme Godfather is repurifying Adam or Brahma. Has repurified actually. And he wants us to follow the first elderly child of God. That is Brahma. That's what we do in our worldly family also. The elderly brother is asked to be somebody who's with good character so that the younger brothers they can learn something from them so godfather also wants us to follow adam who's the eldest brother of all of humanity and also father of humanity so father says only those who see the father and follow the father are constantly free from obstacles there is upheaval when you see a sister or see a brother they are brahma kumars and kumaris the eldest brother is father Brahma and then their sisters and also Jagadamba that is Mateshwari or Eve whom we need to follow and follow her characters follow her way of thinking talking acting same goes for father Brahma now since they are no more there in a physical body so we have to follow the elderly dadis or the eldest sisters of Brahma Kumaris if not that then sisters who are following father Supreme God Father completely have to be followed. So then God says, there is upheaval when you see a sister or see a brother. When we see brothers and sisters who are maybe old in knowledge but don't have so much of habits, good habits, or new brothers and sisters who are not completely imbibing all the things which God Father is saying, then what happens? There is an upheaval in our mind. Then the thought comes, these people are there for the in the knowledge for the past 10 years. They have not received, achieved peace or complete peace, they are still getting angry at small things, then what about us? God says, follow good children, follow good students. In a university, there is always a good student and somebody who is at the back seat. So God says, follow the ones who are the ones who are forward and who are moving faster. Therefore, by following the Father, make your sanskars the same as the Father's. And by performing the dance of harmonizing sanskars, that means harmonizing good behaviors, you will constantly be free from obstacles with your power of silence that is by your being quiet all obstacles no matter how big will finish and your activities will automatically be accomplished let's say somebody gets annoyed with you they want their method to be done their idea to be taken care of or, or that problem be solved through their idea their methodology and that makes you peaceless. What is going to happen? Will your habits or sanskars be together? No. The vibration, the power or the zeal will reduce, enthusiasm will reduce in doing that work and being successful in that work. So God says use peace. Let go of that ego. Let go of I, me, my way, my idea. Let go of the need of, of any acknowledgement from people and you'll make that works successful. So what becomes larger than us? The aim, the goal becomes larger than us. So God wants us to use that habit, use the power of peace. Now what is that power of peace? How do you make sure that your ego, your jealousy or your greed for name fame doesn't come in between the work, the aim, objective of that organization, of your family or anything per se? For that you'll have to come and learn the seven days Brahma Kumari's course. With this, Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.